This program is rated PG. The following program deals with mature subject matter and contains scenes with sexuality. Viewer discretion is advised. Holy hemlock! To be scared of the... Could this be a sign? Am I getting my powers back? Is, is, is this what that is all about? Those are the flames from hell! Oh, I hope so, Timmy. Maybe this will level the playing field so I can go up against that goody two-shoes angel. If so, Charity is about to lose her battle against evil. Sam, but I think you're way off here. Maybe. Why would Tabitha want to hurt Charity, let alone set fire to her? I mean, what possible reason could she have? I know it doesn't figure. Still. Look, Tabitha is powerless to hurt anyone. Well, my mind could be working overtime. Well, why don't you let me slow your mind down a little bit? In fact, why don't I take your mind off of work altogether? Well. How do you propose doing that? Well, for starters. Okay. Are you sure about this, Charity? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. And that's exactly what this date's gonna be. It's gonna be the most fantastic, wonderful first date ever. One you'll never forget. You will remember this, won't you? <laughs> Promise? How could I ever forget you twice, Miguel? How could I have been such a fool, Simone? I actually believed I could make Miguel mine? I'm sorry, Kay, but you knew the odds were against you. It's just time for me to face facts, you know? Admit defeat. I've lost Miguel forever. Oh, honey bunny. I'm trying to be brave, Simone. I really am. You are brave. You are. Then why does it hurt so badly? Why am I in so much pain? Why would Gwen go over to Teresa's? Why can't she see? Teresa means nothing to me. Gwen is the only woman I love. Gwen? No. Gwen is blowing what happened totally out of proportion. It was a misunderstanding. Teresa is not after me or in love with me. I better get over there before something happens. Just what I expected. Oh no. I guess there's no point in denying it.
careful, Timmy. It could burst into flames again. Timmy will go get the fire extinguisher. Good idea. All set, Princess. All right. Now, I'm going to try and pick it up. If it erupts again, then zap it with the extinguisher. Uh, so far, so good. What's the book say, Princess? Oh, I can't quite read this title, so I'm not... Wait a minute. I know what this is. This is a book of predictions written by an old witch a thousand years ago. Why did the book burst into flames? Oh, well, what better way to get our attention? <laughs> so you think the witch that wrote this is trying to get in touch with you? I'm not sure, Timmy. She wrote predictions about what would happen a thousand years in the future. If the book was written a thousand years ago... Then the predictions were meant for now. We are, Princess. Oh! Good news? It's about charity. The witch predicted you meet up for charity? But that's already happened. Shh. Maybe this will tell us how to get rid of her. What does it say? It talks about the girl of goodness, a.k.a. the brat. It says, Charity will fall in love. So you're not going to tell me where we're going? I want it to be a surprise. But how am I going to know what to wear if I don't know where we're going? Just wear whatever you want. You always look beautiful, Charity. I'll second that. But girls like to look extra beautiful on first dates. Come on, Charity. I'll help you pick something out. Thank you, Jessica. And you know you're welcome to anything you want of mine or Kay's. You don't need to ask Kay something, so you go on up and I'll be right with you. Okay. See you in a while, Miguel. I can't wait. Through. Don't mind me. We're busted. <laughs> Don't worry about it, Sam. I can get us off. I'm intimately acquainted with the chief of police. You guys are so great. Everything is so great. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a smile that big and well, I, I don't know how long. What's going on, Charity? Miguel asked me out on a date. Our first date. <laughs> That's wonderful, sweetheart. When? Tonight. But he won't tell me where we're going. It's a surprise. Sam did that to me once. Wouldn't tell me where we were going. We ended up at the Boston Garden. Bruins four, Blackhawks two. <laughs> yeah, um, it was more romantic than it sounds. In fact, it was very romantic. Oh, well, Jessica's gonna help me pick out something to wear, but I was wondering if you could help me with my hair. Of course I would. <laughs> I'll come up in a couple minutes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it is so great to see that sparkle in her eyes. Now all our girls are gonna be so happy. Why did this happen to me? I love him. I know. And I feel bad for you, Kay, but maybe it's time you accepted what's happening. That Miguel's feelings for Charity are so strong, you can't fight them. <sighs> I can't accept that. I can't live without Miguel in my life. There will be lots of other boys out there. No, Simone, I will never love another boy as much as I love Miguel. Come on, Kay. Simone, you don't understand. Nobody does except for someone who's loved as passionately as I have and doesn't have that love returned. Is there something you want to tell me, Teresa? I might as well. After looking in my room, you, you already know my secret. I guess I thought that nobody... What are would... you two doing out in the hall? Teresa, aren't you going to invite Gwen in? What? Well, why stay out in the hall, Teresa? Because she can see everything she needs to from here, Whitney. But I can't make a phone call. That's why I came here, remember? Right. 
The phone is right here on the bed. Go ahead. <laughs> Interesting. Teresa. It was bound to happen sooner or later. The truth always comes out in the end. And when I started collecting... The phone the is right there. Go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, Whitney. No answer. So, you said you were collecting, Teresa. I'm, I'm sorry? You said you were collecting. What? Oh, I, uh... Baseball cards? <laughs> right. <laughs> um, my brother Luis got me started on that years ago. I've never been much of a collector myself. I never had the patience. I do like baseball, though. Oh, it's such a great game. I, I still don't understand why you didn't want me to see your room, Teresa. It's not the least bit messy. <sighs> no. Well, um... I didn't know that Whitney was going to straighten things up. It's inviting. It's attractive. You could use something on that wall, though. Pictures or photographs or something. Photographs? You know, what a great idea. Got any, Teresa? Yeah. I, I was in the middle of a do-over, and that's why I said it was messy, and I didn't want you to see it. And if Ivy Crane had found out that oh, I... Teresa, I would never tell Ivy Crane about any of this. I wouldn't want it to cost you your job. Oh, I didn't And know. I would never tell her that I suspect that her secretary has a mad crush on her son. I mean, to tell you the truth, from the way you were talking, I half expected that wall to be full of pictures of Ethan. <laughs> if it was, I would have known I was right about you being in love with Ethan. dreamed that there is a man, a wonderful man, who would love me for who I am, not okay. for my family or my money. Okay. <coughs> Try and get some rest, okay, Sharon? Are you that man? Look, you're in a serious accident. You almost drowned. <coughs> what? Shh, you're weak. Okay? You need to save your strength. Try and get some sleep. No, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? If I close my eyes at you, you'll disappear. Yeah, that I'm would not, break my heart. I'm not going anywhere. Hold my hand. Okay. Promise that you won't leave me. It's gonna be okay. Promise. I promise. I'm gonna take care of you, Sheridan. But you got me confused with someone else, okay? Much more. She gets an entire chapter. What are all the predictions? The girl of the new millennium, that's charity, must never find love. If she does, it will mean disaster for the forces of darkness. That's us. Disaster? Timmy doesn't like the sound of that. Well, only if she finds love. And then she'll come into her full powers and destroy all evil in harmony. But you already knew that. Yes. Yes, you're right. That's old news. Oh, wait a minute. These two pages are stuck together. Oh, no. Bad news? Well, there's another part to the prediction that I didn't know before. Well, it's frightening, Timmy. It's terrifying. Oh. Things are worse than I feared, Timmy. Much, much worse. Come in. <laughs> you look so happy, Charity. I am happy. More than happy. <laughs> oh, well, if anyone deserves to feel that way, it's you, sweetheart. And I think that Miguel is floating on air, too. Oh, he's such a wonderful guy. 
and we're going on a date, a real date. <laughs> and I think there are going to be many more dates and many happy times. I have a very special feeling about you and Miguel, the way he rescued you from those fires, like Sam rescued me. You two are so much in love. <laughs> yes, we are. How did you know? No. When you were in love. Uh, well, believe me, when it hits you, you will know it. But how did you know that he was the right man? The man you wanted to spend the rest of your life with? <laughs> well, dear, that is for another day, because tonight is all about you. And you are going to walk out of here looking so beautiful. <laughs> what am I saying? You already are beautiful. <laughs> but um, maybe we can do your hair different, something that Miguel hasn't seen yet. He's got such a wonderful smile. <laughs> oh, everything about him is wonderful. <laughs> yes, he is. In fact, you know, he reminds me a bit of Sam. Good job, you guys. Well, I better get home and get ready for my date. Hey, I know I'm gonna have to tell you to take it slow with Charity, right? She's been through a really rough time. Don't worry, Chief Bennett. I'm just glad to be going out with her. I mean, all we'll be doing is getting to know each other better. We'll take it real slow. What's up with you, Reese? Nothing, Chief Bennett. Well, it looks like you're not too happy about something. I've got zero to do tonight. I mean, Miguel's got a date, Eddie's got a date. Because I'll go home and watch the Celtics. You know, someone was telling me, Reese. Um, oh, it was one of my police sources. Mentioning something about a Halloween dance. Oh, Halloween dance? You and Kay were kissing. Is that right? Whoa. Were my sources correct? <laughs> I mean, we weren't, we were, there was... <laughs> If she kissed you, that means she likes you. I know my daughter. I couldn't be happier you two were going out with my girls. Take real good care of them. Good care. We will, Chief Bennett. Come on, Reese, I gotta get going. Gotta get ready. Good night, Chief Bennett. <laughs> Jessica, what's up with the glum look? It's Kay. You two been fighting again? I wish we'd never fought. I hate myself for ever having teased her. This sounds serious. She feels unloved. I was so sure Miguel and I were going to be together forever. It was like... And the stars, you know, fate. Thought that once he fell in love with me, that would be it. We'd be together forever. I'm sorry, Kay. You keep saying that. Because I don't know what else to say. But I was finally gonna have something of my own. Listen to me, Kay. You are one of the luckiest girls alive. I mean, look at your family. They love you. I know. What you've got is a case of the middle child blues. If you'd open your eyes, you'd see how much you've got going for you. There are so many girls out there who are in worse shape than you are. That's my office. Can I use your phone again? Oh, please. Yeah. Thanks. Merle, it's me. Somebody paged me? You saved oh, my no. life, Whitney. If you would have taken those pictures off the wall, uh -huh. she would have seen them. I don't want to think what would have happened. She's looking to have me run okay. out of town as it is. Teresa, we have got to do something. Well, well, what can we do? We have got to get her out of here before she notices you're standing on that picture. But how? Okay, Merle. And, and if Ethan calls, just tell him I'm in a meeting, okay? Thanks. Well, I guess you'll be wanting to get back to the office. Yeah. Is anybody here? Hey. It's like I said, you need to rest. Don't you love me? Aren't I good enough for you? Of course you are. You're good enough for any man. You don't want me because of what I've done. A voice told me that years ago this would happen. <coughs> voice? In the room. It told me nobody would love me if they found out what I'd done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Listen to me, Sheridan. No one must ever know about what happened, about what you've done. Never. No one. You found out, didn't you? Found out what, Sheridan? What is it? What happened in your past? Tell me what it says in the book. It didn't really scare you, did it? Yes, Timmy. It did. Oh. But Timmy doesn't want to know. Timmy can't take any more bad news. Maybe a little. It is only a little, isn't it? Charity's powers will be strengthened and enhanced a thousandfold by the love of one particular boy. Who? If Timmy and Talbot know, maybe you can stop them from eating. A boy who will save her from two fires. Well, that could only be... Not Miguel! Charity just remembered how close they were. If they fall in love, it's current for Timmy and Talbot. We're goners. Talbot's going to need help with this one. Yes, yes, I'm going to need someone to help me keep Miguel and Charity apart. But who? Kay! Hey, Smart. Can I get a few moments alone with my daughter, please? Oh, sure, Mr. Bennett. All right, what's wrong? What's the matter? Nothing. Come on, you can't fool the old man all the time. Although sometimes I'd let you think you do. It's it's really nothing all that important. You know, I'm I'm over it already. Talk to me. I'm here to listen to you. Maybe help you out if I can. Thanks, Dad, but I think it's something I have to handle on my own. You know, I was thinking last night about when you were born. Your mom putting you into my arms and <sighs> you were the sweetest, most precious thing. And so beautiful. God, you were so beautiful. And I only knew that you would grow to be even more beautiful. And one day break my heart by falling in love with some man and getting married. Hey, there'll be tears in my eyes that day. But they'll be good tears, because I know that's the way life is supposed to be. Setting you. It's Miguel, isn't it? You know. Teresa, I'm sorry for barging in like this, but the front door was unlocked. It's all right, you know. I should go and let you two visit. No, Gwen, I'm, you're the one I came to see. Really? Yes. I've been calling all over town trying to track you down. And Pilar told me you were here. Yep, well, Teresa and I were just having a heart to heart, getting to know each other a little better. I see. Teresa, I'm sorry for getting you caught up in all this, in what should have been a private matter between Gwen and me. It involved the three of us, Ethan. I don't blame Gwen for being upset at, after seeing us in front of that fire. But she misread the situation. But absolutely nothing happened, I swear. But what I'm wondering, Teresa, is were you hoping that something would happen? And are you hoping that something's gonna happen in the future? Gwen! What? Is that an inappropriate question, Ethan? You're damn right it is. <laughs> Teresa has no interest in me whatsoever, and she certainly doesn't deserve to be talked to like that. I find the two of you all cozy and tucked in by the fire, and I am the one who's being accused of being inappropriate? How does that work? I think the two of us should take this outside and not bother Teresa anymore. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm just that. Okay, 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 okay. We love dear Kay. She's come to save the day. <laughs> and our hides, Timmy. Oh, that darling girl is going to save our hides. <laughs> Timmy really never did like Kay before. Oh, we don't have to like her. She suits our purposes to a T. Miguel 
is the only boy who could help Charity get her powers back, and Miguel is the boy that Kay Bennett has set her heart on. <laughs> Reports of our demise are greatly exaggerated to me. <laughs> that book had to me and tell the scared for nothing. Ah, oh, well, I've told you before that there's nothing on this earth more powerful and energetic than a teenage girl in love. They're like force fields to me. <laughs> and I can tell you that Kay is going to use all her force to grab Miguel for herself. Oh, when you think of all the things she was tempted to do to get rid of Charity. <laughs> Which one was your favorite? Uh, when Kay saw Charity on the railroad tracks and didn't get help. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, that was a winner. Definitely in the top five. Uh, now, I think my personal favorite is when she was in the hospital fingering the oxygen valve to Charity's air supply <laughs> and debating whether or not to pull the plug. <laughs> that girl is evil. Oh, no, 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 Timmy. That's too harsh. No. What's the word for Kay? Confused. Yeah, that's what she is. Well, she's the middle child who's always felt overlooked, even by parents who loved her. You know, I've always found it easiest to work with the middle children. <laughs> oh, no, Kay is, is light years away from evil as we know it. She's merely in love. And love is a powerful tool for good or bad. As long as she's tired of this Well, with Kay hell-bent on grabbing Miguel for herself, I don't think I have to worry too much about keeping him and Charity apart. Something's wrong with Kay. Our newfound ally is troubled. I think I'd better check this out. You know I'm upset because of Miguel. You know, <laughs> I didn't always used to be this old. <laughs> Come, sit down. I remember when I first started getting serious about dating. I wore my heart out on my sleeve, you know. If you wear it out there, I could get hurt. And mine nearly got broken. Really? Yeah. But I know what you're feeling, Kay. That love has passed you by, that you'll never find love again. But you will. How did you know about Miguel? <sighs> I guess it's just a cop of me. I deduced that you were upset when you heard about Miguel asking Charity out. I mean, you and Miguel go way back, since kindergarten. And you were buddies. And when a pal gets serious about a relationship, it affects you. It makes you wonder when it's going to happen to you, right? Isn't that it? You're right. <laughs> Miguel's my buddy, and I'm happy for him. Oh, I know you are. And I know there's somebody out there for you, too. Reese! Reese? Yeah. You know, and like Miguel, any father would be proud to have him as a son-in-law. So, so you think Miguel would make a good son-in-law? Oh, best. And I'm so happy that Charity chose him. But that's a long way off. Yeah, it's, it's a long way off. What is it? <laughs> I wonder where they had gotten off to. What? Oh, it's this old magazine article on Arthur Ashe. I've been saving it. Cute shoes. Okay. Teresa, um, I want to apologize for the two of us busting into your house for no reason. I did not reason. bust in. Oh, sorry we intruded. Oh, it's all right. I can speak for myself, Ethan. I didn't mean to imply that you couldn't, Gwen. I hope you know where I stand now, Teresa. Teresa, thank you for being so understanding. This day? I mean, how close a call was that? We were two seconds away from disaster. <sighs> but my best friend bailed me out. You were in front of me. The only worst disaster would have been Louise catching Ethan in your room. Oh, total disaster. Total disaster. What is it that haunts you about your past, Sharon? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. 
Rain's really coming down now. Wings picked up. Come on, don't go out now. She needs a fire to stay warm. It's coming down the chimney. Damn it. Without a fire, Sheridan might die. You know, I know Reese is not doing anything tonight. So if you want, your mother and I invite him up for no, dinner. No, don't, don't. Why not? I don't know. You know. Sometimes you act so grown up, and then you get a crush on a boy, and you get so shy, embarrassed. Simone, do you tell your best friend that it's cool to have dinner with a boy? Uh, uh yeah, OK. What was that all about, dinner? With Reese. He practically has us married. You're kidding. Nope. Probably thinks I can't do any better. The most important thing is to keep her focused on the prize. Miguel, he's the brass ring. Came has never knew sight of that. He was actually really nice about it. He made me want to make him proud. Of course he's proud of you. He loves you. You know what is so ironic? He said that he thought Miguel would make a really good son-in-law. Wow, that is ironic. In fact, that's downright weird. Yeah. I always wanted to please my dad, and for the first time, you know, we were right in sync. But I failed him. And me. By losing Miguel to charity forever. This is terrible, Timmy. In fact, it's a calamity. Come on in, Miguel. Yeah, I meant to ask you earlier. Have you heard anything from your brother? Not yet. You know he went to Santa Fe to try to track down our father. He left a message at the station, but I didn't get a chance to talk to him. You know, I hope he knows what he's doing. So do I. It'll work out. How's Teresa handling it? Uh, she's upset, but there's a lot of other things going on in our life right now. Beautiful. Thank you. For you to come over here and grill Teresa about her feelings for me. <laughs> it's not right to eavesdrop. I can't believe you do that. Okay, what are they saying? You weren't there, Ethan. I can't hear everything. Gwen, the girl is innocent. It doesn't you sound like you're making up. Look, you know you're wrong, Gwen. Why don't you just admit it? You want me to apologize? Yes. Maybe I was wrong coming over here, but I am not wrong about Teresa. Gwen, there is nothing going on between Teresa and me. Ethan, you don't have this instinct that women have about other women coming after their man. God, I just wish Sheridan were here. Maybe she could talk some sense into you. Lord knows I can't. I gotta keep warm. But how? Come on, Louise, think. Think. <laughs> oh, she can't go on like this. She'll freeze to death. No, that wouldn't work. Well, that's worth a try. <laughs> Maybe my only chance to save her. I'm going to take some pictures. That's a good idea. It's been at family tradition. We take rolls and rolls of photographs. To add to our stacks and stacks of photo albums. Every family member has their own album. Mm -hmm. Would you guys stand up? Jessica, would you stand next to Miguel? Well, where's Kay? We can't take pictures without her. I'm not sure she's up for being photographed today. Well, why not, Jessica? She's not having what you call a good day. Um, well, we can't take pictures without Kay in them. Maybe it'll make her feel better. She's outside with Simone. I'll go get her. Kay! Aunt Grace wanted to 
take some pictures of Miguel and me. Will you come in so we can get some family shots? Did you hear that, Timmy? Pictures? Wedding snaps. We're practically dead already. You go in, Simone. I can't go in and smile and pretend I couldn't be happier that Charity and Miguel are together. Okay, I'll make up some kind of excuse. Thanks. My life is over before it even started. I'll never get Miguel now. Perhaps I could help you, Katie. dear. It's the only way I can keep you warm, Sheridan. The only way I can save you. Hope you understand. Make love to me. I need you to make love to me now. Did I hear what I thought I heard? like Gwen's breaking it off with Ethan. Just because they're taking shots at each other, Teresa, doesn't mean they're in real trouble. I think this could be my lucky day, Whitney. Well, she is not stupid, Teresa. She's picked up on the fact that you're interested in her man. It's more than interest. I love him. And if Gwen leaves, I'm gonna go right out there and tell him. <laughs> you wouldn't. Wait and see. Teresa isn't after me, secretly or otherwise. Women have instincts about these things, Ethan. Never mind instincts. What about proof? After all the years we've been together, the least you could do is trust my judgment. Obviously, you don't. Bollywood is all song and dance. Think again. See it all here on Bollywood Saturday Night. <laughs> 